So this Twitter post of mine went really viral. I'm talking 416,000 views viral. And apparently, a lot of you love how I have my Next.js folder structure set up. A lot of you hate it. And some of you are still stuck on Pages Router. Kind of concerning. But let's talk about this. Now, I shared this tweet. When was it? January 4th, which was a couple days ago. And essentially, I had a server route group in my app router. And this server route group had my API routes, um, my certain what is now service folder, but let's call it data folder and a DB folder with an action.ts. And the reaction was an uproar and a, this is amazing. Now, let me show you some of the reactions we had. Uh, web dev Cody responding, I wouldn't put DB or data inside the app directory personally, but at the end of the day, it makes little difference. My boy Bridger said clean. Theo said, if it's not part of my routes, I try to keep it out of app. In my opinion, it is very weird to have your DB in your routes, but not your components. Uh, keeping all components in one folder seems cursed. I don't keep all components in one folder. And then you have like, just like, there's a lot of reaction. Now, I do appreciate Theo for quote tweeting and sharing his um, structure. He uses, first of all, the source folder, which, listen, source folder is canceled. We no longer use the source for folder. I have been talking with the Next.js team, and when Next.js 20 drops next week, source folder is officially done. So better get used to it now. And there was this other lad who actually had a pretty clean setup. So like, seriously speaking, this is actually pretty cool. Having a vendor route group was pretty awesome. But I want to kind of share my thought process behind this. Why would I do this? And there's no better way than to show you actual code. Now, first things first, I want to say this setup isn't bad. Yes, it's experimental. I've only been doing it for a few weeks. I've been playing around with different folder structures, but it's not bad at all. And I'll explain why. But before I do, I also want to share with you. I'm not Uncle Bob. MVC is done. I ship code with no unit tests. And whenever I'm too lazy to write the types, I'll use in any type, right? This is the new era of engineering. And yet I will still outship you. So continue to use your MVC formula. Okay, bud. In all seriousness, though, th this is this is kind of my thought process behind, it, right? So we have our app router, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We have our app router and my app router, I have three route groups, auth, routes, server. And then we have the favicon, the globals.css, layout.tsx and page.tsx, right? So in the server route group, I have API data has been turned to services now. And then I have an actions.ts file. Now, if the actions.ts, if there are multiple server actions, I would actually turn it to a folder and have multiple files under that folder. I'll call it like actions folder and then have the, you know, actions name as the file name, but I only have one uh, action on this project in particular. So I just have it as a file. And obviously we know that API contains the API routes and then services basically contains all interactions with DB, right? So for example, under user, there's a user create function. This is server only, meaning this can only be called on the server. So either in an API route or a server component, same with user info, same with character, and then same with messages. Character contains multiple functions that use the OpenAI SDK and some other functions that do various tasks. Right. So interactions with the DB are essentially in services. And then my server actions are in actions.ts. All of this is encapsulated within the server route group. Now, I did have DB in the app folder. The reason I've removed it is because DB only contains the initialization and the schema and then the drizzle folder. Nothing really is going to change here. So I just kept it outside the app folder. But in the app folder, I am determined to keep the server route group and routes route group basically has a different route. So in this application is going to be a slash character page, right? And routes just encapsulates that. Now, the reason why I'm going to keep the server route group in the app folder is because first of all, I can, but second of all, in my personal projects, I actually like to keep um, these functions that interact with the server that I'm going to call in the server component close by. Like, so for example, this get character function is literally right here. It's in this file right here. And because of the server component paradigm we're entering, I think it's completely fine to have your functions that interact with the server in the app folder. Because first and foremost, it doesn't change the thing. It's just more so of a, a placement decision, right? Also, it's just I'm going to call it in the server component. So why not keep it close with my server components? And one thing that I do, even with my routes is let's say, for example, in this character route, if I go to this page there, I fetch data 
uh, on the server. This is a server component, right? right? You can see async, no use client. And then I return a client component. And that client component is it under the route with this underscore components folder. And I keep a clean right there. I don't even put for uh, components in the components folder unless they're used universally, right? So chat, uh, header, um, the loading, like I use it in different spots, the modal and the provider, right? But like components that are specific to uh, a route, I put it under its own components folder. And I truly think that this is actually a very nice and flexible setup. I'm going to test this at scale. I'm going to see how this is. I've already tested it a little bit at scale and it's been fine. It just f seems fluid. And at the same time, again, this is in 1985. I am not Uncle Bob. We're done with MVC. Now, just real quick, I, I want you to know that I'm, I'm also partly joking with like MVC is done in like all that stuff, like, you know, satire fun, like don't take it too seriously. But I honestly don't see anything wrong with this. I've been having fun with this. And I just wanted to share with you this setup. And I'm probably going to use this setup in the next few videos because I got some cool projects I'm going to be sharing with you guys. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to everybody who liked that post, liked this setup, roasted this setup, and still told me to use Pages Router. Shout out to all of you, I guess. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will see you in the next one. Peace.